Hi, good to see you again. I'm Graham Martin. I'm the recruitment guy with another episode of things I wish my dad had told me when I was 17. Now the odd thing here is that my dad never spoke to me about travel. This is rather odd when you think he was in the Second World War and at the age of 16 had travelled to America, then down to the Caribbean and eventually through Europe. So my dad had had, irrespective of what he did, he'd actually travelled quite extensively. And then when he finished the war, he and my mum travelled throughout Europe on a motorbike. Pretty cool, yeah? Well, they never encouraged me to travel. So my first trip abroad was to Germany on a really old-fashioned plane with propellers. And then I went to Mallorca and I had a day trip to, to France with the school. But I was never really advised or recommended to travel. And I really regret that now. So what I pass on to anybody who's 17 is that whenever you can, travel. Go to different places. Look in the, the guidebooks, look on the internet, talk to other people, talk to your friends, parents, find out where they've been that's interesting. Yeah, you've got to go to Paris. You have to go to New York to go to the Guggenheim Museum. Maybe to Barcelona to see the Gaudi architecture and the amazing kind of melting candle of a, of a cathedral they have there, not to mention the Olympic Park. You know, get over to Los Angeles, go to San Francisco. Uh, maybe to the, the giant redwood forests. They're amazing. Uh, you know, Europe is an incredible place. You've got the south of France, you've got the skiing. There's some stunning places in Italy. Japan, China, Africa, South Africa, Australia, the North Pole, the South Pole. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So just do these things. And one of the things when I'm out now for dinner and I listen to my friends speaking, I always feel slightly disadvantage because I can't talk about these places. I spent most of my money building a business and doing up houses and having fun and buying cars but you know what those memories of the few places I have been have stuck with me. I'd like to travel a lot more and I'd recommend that you do it. Whenever you go always make sure you get a copy of all your papers, take a photocopy of your passport in case you lose it, a colour one, Make sure you're, you've got a private stash of, of, of money and that people know where you're going to be. Don't just take one phone, but take two phones. And of course, lots of photographs. Take snaps, go like crazy. Digital cameras these days make it so easy to do so. So please, if you're going to travel, enjoy yourselves. Have a good time. Um, excuse me, the cat's here again. <laughs> he really wants to be in the action these days, doesn't he? So think about travelling, enjoy yourselves, have some fun with it, be adventurous, but be safe and be careful. A close friend of mine had a, uh, his sister-in-law um, went skiing with some friends, they got a bit drunk and she went to play ice hockey on an outdoor swimming pool that was iced over and she fell through and she killed herself, she drowned. So I'm not trying to you know, make a mess of this and upset people, but the reality is when you go abroad, you've got to think about things. Be very safe, be very careful. Remember, if you've had a drink, if you're a bit kind of hyper or you're buzzed up or you're to impress your friends, just take it easy, okay? Be very, very careful. Enjoy yourselves, have lots of fun, but be, be very, very safe. So that's it for now. Bye for me.